welcome back to MTD CNC. Thank you all for watching. I have a very special guest today, Dr. Mori. Of course, you probably already knew that because this man is incredibly famous and well-spoken. Now, if you notice this card in my hands, I almost never have a card, but Dr. Mori has created something that is unique. This is a one-of-a-kind exclusive conversation, so I needed my notes today because we have very specific questions that Dr. Mori is going to answer for us today. So Dr. Mori, my friend, first of all, thank you so much for the time. I know you're such a busy man. Thank you for being here. It's my great pleasure to host you for this uh, Chicago Innovation Days. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you as well, my friend. Now, I know you're busy, so I'm going to get right to the questions. And these are the notes. I want to first talk about machining transformation with you. Now, what are the most significant technological advancements that have contributed to the transformation of machining processes in the recent years? Well, I have been thinking, and uh, we have been spending almost last uh, 20, 30 years for developing the state-of-the-art fiber access machining center with uh, turning functions, also together with uh, Milton technologies for the integrated machines. And then the machine is moving so smooth and so precise and so robust then that we are now uh, offering the customer to make a process integrations. So the milling and turning, grinding, some measurement or some heat treatment, those kinds of things can be packed into one machine. And then that you can replace five, six uh, you know, old machines, 20 years, 30 years old machines into one machine. Then it is possible to make it more easy uh, automations by changing the chuck uh, together with uh, robots or changing the pallets. And then, after that, that you can achieve a green transformation. So that everybody talking about the DX, but the most important thing is that uh, try to make a process integration by use of the state-of-the-art 5Xs or military machines. But in want to achieve that, we need DX. Everything should be digitalized, starting from the drawings by uh, uh, 3D CAD systems, CAM systems, nice post processors, monitoring system of the automations, uh, alarm message, the diagnosis, those kind of things. Then that, uh, I think that what we are doing is this. Oh, this is a machining transformation. So MX is very, very important. Maybe for including the assemblies or entire things that automotives or rocket, those kind of things can be said that uh, manufacturing transformation, MX. But we are the machining company, so that we say it's uh, MX machining transformations. Dr. Mori, that makes great sense to me. And I could honestly talk to you for another hour and a half on just that topic and the importance of adding automation and putting so many different applications into one machine. Unfortunately today, we don't have that kind of time, but okay. I'm gonna pull you aside later yeah. and we'll have that conversation. If it's okay with you, I'm gonna slide right into automation solutions. Yes. I know it's a topic that you love discussing. We've kind of talked about it a little bit already, mm -hmm. but let's go into more detail. And the first question I have for you is, how has DMG Mori's automation solutions evolved over the years to meet the increasing demands for efficient and precise manufacturing processes? Yes, already about 25 to 30% of our machines goes with pallet handling or robot handling uh, automations. And then the nature of the advanced five axis or military technology is quite good much of the automations. And so if you keep the old process, you need more robots, you need more part handling uh, peripherals. So that the most important key is that uh, make a process integration before you go to automations. Then that you can minimize the investment for the automations. Yeah, that makes sense to me too. And you and I have been into many shops. I've been into your facility in Japan. I see the way you are constantly uh, evolving the technology day to day. And again, it's one of those topics that you and I could talk about forever. Yeah, yeah. But I know we're limited on time. So I'm yes. going to go into question number two, yes. which is what are some of the key challenges that manufacturers face when implementing automation solutions? And how does DMG Mori help customers overcome these challenges? Yeah. 
the most important thing so key is that uh, how to make uh, teachings or, or programming of the of the peripheral automated uh, products and then that you need a complete digital method uh, to to make a simulations before going to do actual movement on uh, uh, robots or pallet handlings. So digitalization is the key. I tell you what, Dr. Mori, yeah. that is, in my opinion, when you say the key, it really is the key, right? I've talked to a lot of your colleagues, both in Japan, in Germany, and here in the U.S. Yeah. Digital transformation is not just the future, it's now, isn't it? Yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, I yeah. absolutely agree with that. I'm going to go for question number three in automation because I know the world wants to learn more about your perspective in mm. automation itself. Yeah. So how are DMG Mori's automation solutions helping manufacturers address the skilled labor shortage and the need to upskill the existing workforce? And we ask that because some people go, well, automation is going to take my job, but it's actually upskilling, isn't it? And it's also supporting this major labor shortage. I agree. Labor shortage is everywhere. Of course, that uh, rest of the lack of the education for the manufacturing at the high school or technical college and those kind of things is a background. But the other thing is that just putting the raw materials into the machines and take out the uh, machine workpiece is the most slavery job uh, in the industry. So we have to eliminate those kind of things. And then by use of the CAD CAM systems and the uh, 5Xs and Milton technologies, that we can ask the robots or uh, machines to do those kind of things, changing the uh, cutting tools, changing the workpiece, pallets, those kind of things can be done automatically uh, on the machines. Most important thing is, is uh, giving the chance for the younger generations to be a real programmer, uh, computer uh, related things for uh, make realize the making the programs and the teaching to the robots and the machines. Yeah, very, very well said. We're going to yeah. slide now into digital transformation. Yeah. We've talked about it a little bit. We mentioned it's the key. Yeah. We mentioned it's not just the future, it's now. And you, yourself, yeah. and DMG Mori as a whole are really big into digital transformation. Mm. Talking with Shun and some of the other friends you have over in Japan. Great people, by the way. Mm. So I'm going to slide right into the first question of digital transformation. Yeah. So the question I want to ask you, Dr. Mori, mm. is can you provide examples of how DMG Mori's digital solutions have helped customers improve productivity, efficiency, and product quality in their manufacturing processes? The more automated or more precise programs created, then that machine tools should follow for that uh, cut locations in a very precise manner. So the key is that more automated more AI related type of things, more and more precise and robust machines are required. I do agree with that. Yeah. And I have one last question for yes. you because I know how time is valuable. I know you're headed back to Japan, yeah. but for the audience, because I know they love watching you and learning from you, I'm gonna yeah. try and squeeze a little bit more information out of yes, you if that's please. okay. Yeah. So the last question I wanna ask is, how does DMG Mori's approach to digital transformation contribute to the adaptation or adoption of sustainable and environmentally friendly manufacturing processes? Because green is important to people like you and myself. I agree, I agree. And, and GX means that uh, going to reduce the carbon dioxide for the entire supply chain, scope one, scope two, scope three. Uh, so that means that once again that the process integration means that uh, five, six step of the spindle motors can be reduced to one. This means that the rest of the uh, electricity consumptions. Then that, uh, by doing that you can minimize the uh, uh, materials in process and that means that you can reduce the entire uh, networking capital in your shop. So GX is not only reducing the uh, carbon dioxide, but also maximize the profit of our customer. Yeah? Less energies, less networking capital, and better uh, sales amount in a very precise workpiece means that more profit. 
Yeah. So that is the reason we we are working very seriously, hard working for to realize the real green machines, green manufacture for ourselves and for our customer. Dr. Mori, from the bottom of my heart, yeah. thank you so much thank for taking much. the time yes. to speak with MTD CNC and sharing your vast wisdom with the audience yeah. watching right now. Yeah, we all really do appreciate yes. it, and it's truly an honor. Thank, thank you, you very much. Friend. It's a very nice interview. Thank, thank you, you Dr. very much. Thank you. And thank you all for watching. This is the famous Dr. Mori, and uh, I'm just grateful for the opportunity.